Hey guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Peaky Blinders. Peaky Fookin' Blinders. Yep. Uh, season 5, Episode 2, Black Cats. Maybe superstition, maybe bad luck, I don't know. Mm, not a clue. Could go many different ways with the title of that episode. Um, but yeah, Season 5 has started off really great really mm -hmm. with a bang and i'm excited to see what's going forward who these new characters are with the whole oswald mosley or whatever his name was and yeah just this whole political side of everything well there's so much going on lacy they you know there's so much in so this. much um but it's all good ada's pregnant mm -hmm. um, yep tommy has his uh ruby now his ruby his daughter. Yep. Married to Lizzie now, uh, which uh, I, I I like it. I like it because I trust her. So, and I know that she really loves him, but I don't feel it back the same way with Tommy, with Lizzie. So, I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Same here. Same here. All we'll right. talk more at the end because I'm sure there'll be plenty to talk about. After Usually every, is. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Enjoying it. I love the ride. I can't wait to keep continuing with this. Even when uh, we catch up, we're going to have another season. Yeah. So we'll be live with that. So, yes. So, yeah, we've got five more episodes to be caught up with everybody else and be able to start the new season yep. with you guys. So with that all being said, let's get it on like Donkey Kong, Steve and Lacey, Black Cats. Let's do it. Red right hand. What is he seeing? Is that him? Uh oh. Oh, that's a message if I've ever seen one. Return on Earth and see the seeds you have sown. What is it? What? Is that a. Is that a. A mine? That's what I was thinking. A bouncing buddy? I mean, did they have that back then? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I didn't get a good look. I, I mean. I mean, he's. It's diff. I think it's a bomb of some sort, but I don't know. Just walk in your footsteps, get in there, because you yeah, got there how, just fine. I don't know how I got there. Yeah, so walk in your footsteps. He's thinking about taking himself out. I mean, in the last episode, he put a gun to his head, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. If anything happens to Charlie, I swear to freaking God. It's just a game, Charlie. It's just a game. Charlie! Charlie! You play loud, me. You want to hear some bangs? Come on. Uh, just ignore the bangs. That is not good. Oh, he ain't scared this time. And there's the bangs. He's still standing. I'd be checking that field some more, though. You should also know that this boy, this Michael, your kid, was in his cabin aboard the SS Monroe in Belfast Dock, making deals with the very man who wants you dead. Tell me they're lying. Now, if you want, we can put a bullet in his head here and there, or we can send him home and you can deal with him. Send him home? 
Very well, Mr. Shelby. Everything's going wrong all at once. Is Michael really... Do you think that's true? That Michael was trying to... Yeah. Go on. I mean, it didn't seem like they were lying about it, but... Mr. Shelby, the violin teacher wants to know what all those bangs were. The fireworks. I was trying to mount for Saturday. Well, it's pretty dark, Francis. Will Mrs. Shelby and Ruby be home for dinner tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's not in a good place right now. I've learned something this morning. Have you? Oh, yeah. oh boy. What have you learned, my boy? Not now, Charlie. You know what I, I, he's like, I instantly regret. <laughs> Jeez. What do you think? I find it hard to believe, but at the same time, he might have this pent up anger because of, I don't know. Michael. Yep. What do I have to do to make you fucking listen to me? Took a bullet. Run around the streets with a fucking gun in your hand. Somebody has to. Here we've got people for that kind of work. Soldiers. You're a fucking Shelby. So, you're a general. When did you last see a general anywhere near the blood and the puke? Hey? He's fucking right. Come on, on your feet. I thought you just said I was a general. I oh, did just say you were. So get on your fucking feet. <laughs> Finn, first and last. So start fucking listen to, listening to me. I've met this girl and I'd like to get mad at Michael. Go. Go. <laughs> Go. Get this out of here. trying to impress? You like the life, Tommy? I don't like the fucking life. I don't like the fucking life. I don't like that Michael is coming back today. Drying her eyes from Liverpool at like three. Bonnie will be there. Tell Moss to clear the station of coppers. You hear me? Uh -oh. Yes, sir. When I do sleep, I dream. In my dream, someone wants my crown. I think it might be Michael. Call me three. It's a journalist. Oh, yeah. The night before he was shot, he came here to see you. He found the Commons Pass and your name in his diary. I was wondering what his business here was. And I'm wondering what your business here is. <laughs> According to his diary, you knew him from Birmingham. So show me, Mr. Levitt was a queer. Some may think it was one of his queer friends. Mr. Stacker. Mr. Shelby. He likes persistence. That's why. And thoroughness, not frivolity. No. Man who walks in the park with other men. Time's up, Mr. Stacker. <laughs> he had you on a time limit. She looks like a boss right there, man. Oh. This is Gina. Gina Gray. Captain married us on board. Oh, okay. He's my wife, Mom, but this look at her. Tommy said to ask you to tell me the truth. You've been traveling for 15 days, Mrs. Gray. Maybe we can talk about this at another time. Yes, let's go home and we can talk. You have no home. Continue telling me. Oh, no shit. Yeah. No oh, shit. Michael! Hello, love. Welcome to Birmingham. Hi. I was then taken off the ship by two men. At gunpoint, point, I'm speaking to my son. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you to Arthur. This is it, Gina. This is my fucking people. Do you know the truth, Arthur? Do you know the truth, Mum? I did not betray my fucking family. I treat you like a fucking dog. Mm. Smelly ones, stinking ones. Until we know you're clean. Fuck you, Arthur. Mm. Stand aside, Arthur. Michael's telling the truth. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the family. Gina Gray. I applaud you, Sam. Mr. Shelby, I must say, you seem like a songbird in the house. We have mutual acquaintance. May come. When I asked about you, she said, oh my goodness, where do I begin? You know, I was rather hoping we might have this meeting alone. My sister is my political advisor. And my advice just now was don't meet Mr. Mosley. Because I am dangerous. No. <laughs> what is it you are impatient for, Mr. Mosley? I'm impatient for my fucking whiskey. Bennett! Uh, okay. 
Make up and spoke about you think, the way I imagine one might. I don't think you're intimidating anybody party. here. Live on champagne and cocaine for three whole days. You know that kind of party. Only three days. <laughs> like all things regarding Ireland, it is complex. Yeah. He better not be talking about freaking Grace there, because he about to get punched in the face. Junior minister to the Duchy of Lancaster. Birmingham is my concern. Okay. <laughs> All right. See, this guy seems like a keep your what friends close but keep your enemies closer no, sort of guy. Of Feeling right. that? Yeah. Bad people think that I'm going to fall. They stop behaving in a different way around you. Who thinks that? They start to circle. Who's going to take the throne, eh? Isn't that Johnson for Arthur? I put on the gold people in the north. Michael. Sounds to me like you're getting a little paranoid. Yeah. Right? Yep. yep. Yeah, he's getting a little paranoid. It's probably that all that opiate, <laughs> opioid use. I had a dream about a black cat last night, Bob. A black cat dream means there's a tray too close by with you and talking about. Black cat can mean lots of things. Coming from every fork of direction. I don't know. I, he has reason to be paranoid, though. You know what I mean? But I don't know that Michael was... Oh, shit. Here he is. Tell me. I'd like to introduce you to my wife. I would also like to uh, say something. Sit down, Michael. I betrayed you. Michael. But only in my heart. That was when they started talking about you, Tom. They said that Tommy Shelby was a spent force. He was spent in the head. Uh-oh. But now was a good time to move in. He did not want to be a part of it. The IRA commander said the men from Glasgow were called Billy Boys. Fucking Billy Boys. So I think I've heard that before, Billy Boys. Idiot. The reason Junior and I got married on the ship was because Junior is pregnant. Oh. Oh. You're going to be a grandmother. Mm. Okay, Michael. I believe you. Welcome on. Congratulations. Just remember, your unborn child has witnessed what you said. Thomas. And it will be born according to... <laughs> Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> Wait. Fucking man. Tommy ain't playing no games. You are free to fucking leave, Michael. You're not free, Michael. Are you? Lost this company a lot of money. Told you to sell. I want you to pay me back. What you owe me. There's work you can do. There are risks you can take. Look at your cousin. He's in trouble, huh? He needs you. There is some serious shit Come on, baby. in here. Let's go. I don't know, man. This seems so weird right now. I know. But it, it could go either way. Bird, I, it I seems like Gina is kind of very controlling over what Michael does and stuff and like, I, I don't know. I can't dream is never wrong for that. Yeah. Potatoes? Of course. In the crocky. Alabama. Oh, who's this? Ooh, it got real quiet. Don't die already, dude. I kind of. It got somewhere. real quiet. Something's gonna happen. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Here's the Billy Boys. The cross. Yep. Glasgow, Glasgow boys really don't like the Peaky Blinders. They went through a lot of trouble for this. They did. They're gonna make him watch as they the kill. His shoulder's messed up. He, he got shot in the shoulder. Well, plus they hit him there too, so yeah. it's not. And this is his son. Holy shit. Oh, 
another note for Tommy. Tell Tommy Shelby it's time to fucking share. Take all the tracks out as far as knocking. Take Cheltenham as well. Wow. Maybe Tommy's not. Oh my maybe God. Tommy's not just paranoid for being paranoid's sake. I think he has a reason to be paranoid here. Which means he's probably right about Michael, too. <laughs> oh, karaoke night? Karaoke night. Really nice, really nice. Would you like some jammy really dodgers? Nice. No, some jammy dodgers? No. I really do. Every football team in England knows Billy Gray. He knows a few people too, didn't you, Bill, eh? You're in here, singing, or whatever the fuck you call it. In shit's old pubs in Birmingham. I didn't invite you here to sing. I want to listen to music up by now, Jolson. That's what he do. No. So what is it that you want, exactly? He's obviously very angry with you for some reason. Hey, don't you lie. We'll leave you in the bottle. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Should I touch him? Should I just quiver in fear? Fix a horse race. Give the outside a bit of cocaine. <laughs> Fix a football match. Give the goalkeeper 20 pounds. You're a peaky blinder now, buddy. Hmm? He's like, yeah, I'm so excited about that. So he's he's going to be the picker of the games? Or... I guess because he's got, because he used to play. Right. So he's oh, got, I guess, the knowledge, yeah. I guess. So, that is about me, is it? Yeah, of course it is. He's fixing races. He's fixing football. Well, in the financial crisis, the Shelby Company Limited has to find other sources of cash income. Tommy went into Chinatown. He's selling out the communists to the British intelligence. And all the time, every day, he gets more and more famous. But that's okay. Because if anyone puts two and two together... That wasn't us. It's not fucking us! It's going to blow up, Arthur! It can't sustain! You know it! Oh, yeah. Got it all planned out. Is that right? Oh, I'll kill you. All you're gonna do is you're gonna be a good fucking wife. Yeah, like the perfect couple. Well, come upstairs. Come upstairs. Yeah. Arthur? Arthur? I spend my day writing two letters and deciding which one to give. Looks like I'll have to give the other one. Uh oh. Or the other one. What fucking other one? You are spiraling, Arthur. Did you read my letter? Did you read the letter about the lawyers? You want to fuck? I think so. It's going to be his birthday today, Tommy. Oh, shit. You know why I took her to Arthur's? Because she said she's scared of you. And she knows you're going to come and know she's a different kid. Last thing I want is silence. Standing up there in silence and someone says, Sorry about all that noise. Want me to write you a fucking letter? Me and Arthur can't write it down. Because they haven't invented the fucking words. Should you choose to depart, Tommy, either by your own hand or someone else's, the person who would take your place is me, legally, financially, everything. I need to know there'll be something left. Oh, you know, there's ink in my head, I still pay you for it, so good luck with me. <laughs> my business. <laughs> so what, Lee? She's like, yes, you do, motherfucker. <laughs> Dang. It's just unraveling everything. You know what I mean? It is. And not them damn candles that you yeah, can't blow out. Not the night you met Michael Yep, there's the note that it's probably going to be like, I'm leaving you. Because everything's going downhill, right? I was going to say, is he going to show up to his daughter's birthday? I'm surprised he showed up. He's not up. He's not up. And I had to stop because I had no words. You have no words. Uh-oh. What is that? We never know. Is this the... It's probably where Tommy's going to find out. It's probably Alabama. Yep. Is it? Fucking car. No. Get out of the fucking car now! We're open fire! Uh oh. No, 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 no. You did this. With one arm and a hammer, and a mighty pain, and a mighty fury! He just watched his son get murdered in front of him. 
Yeah. My son, they shot him and they put him up at a fucking cross and he's fucking dead! Uh, oh no, it's gonna be the letter, right? Only Johnny Dogs and his kid knew where we were camped. How can a one armed man avenge the death of his son? Right? Be crucified, like my son. For you. <laughs> She's had Smile enough. <laughs> I don't want you back. I don't want you back! We're gonna take on the Billy Boys. They need me alive. Everyone fucking needs me. I'll call an ambulance. Mm. Or a man will lose his arm. Lizzie. I'm feeling it from like all of the women this season. I feel like they're gonna be stepping up and like not putting up with any more shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It feels that way so far. I know black cat. What else? What else? In all the world, of all of the people, you alone are now I can't trust. This is some intense episode. Yeah, I mean, I found myself kind of all over the board with this episode and not knowing who to believe, not knowing who to trust, uh, who's telling the truth. Is Michael betraying him? Is Michael being controlled by his new wife? Is there some sort of agenda? Or is he telling the truth? We don't. Absolutely no. Then we have the Billy Boys, who we've just met uh, from Glasgow. These guys are legit. They're not to be messed with, it would appear. They know how to send a message. They know how to send a message. Not that that's a good thing, but I don't know, man. It seems like it's on at this point. Seems like everything is kind of connected. It seems like the Billy Boys have political ties, whereas this Mosby guy or whatever his name is, he's, you know, trying to get Tommy on his side of doing things or whatever he's trying to do, trying to work with him. It's all connected in some way. It seems like there's a lot of also maybe potential framing too because I don't think the Peaky Blinders killed the reporter. Arthur said it wasn't us. Tommy was kind of like, he didn't seem like he knew what was going on, but maybe he did. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like there's some, it seems like Tommy might be onto something with this whole, they're trying to take me out. I just say it. I think you're right. I thought maybe at first he was just losing his wits and off on a tan, you know, just yeah. losing it. Yeah. And now I don't think so, so much. Um, wow. Great episode. Um, but I also feel like he can't be getting betrayed from all angles, right? I feel like he is missing the, I don't think, I don't know. I still don't think Michael's betraying him fully. But I'm still, I have a question mark there. I don't know. That'd be pretty stupid. I've kind of thought that from the beginning of all this. But, but yeah, there's always been that question mark with Michael. Anyway, yeah, this was a great episode. I really enjoyed it. It was very intense and it's up there in my books. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video and squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you until next time. And Peaky Blinders, peace out.